Hey, good evening everybody. It's Carl here. We're in the bathroom. That means it's time for a shave. Look at this scruff. It's been five days since my last shave. <coughs> Excuse me. I was uh, really trying to let my face rest after I had that reaction to uh, the Vanille soap last week. So, been taking it easy, letting everything heal up. And uh, now it's time to get back to it because I'm going back to work tomorrow and this will not fly with the bosses. Um, I barely squeaked through uh, letting it get this, this uh, scruffy. Uh, luckily, I've been off for a couple of days. But anyway, so let's get down to brass tacks. It is the last shave of November. That means no more a November, no more a neglected November. And for me, no more chin shaves. That's right, the goat is coming back because the mo shave November is over. And uh, this will be the last time I shave it until next November. So, what are we going to use to get rid of this scruff? <clears throat> well, it's a little complicated today. Um, I did not shower because I had one this morning with a head shave. Uh, so, I washed my face hot water, used the Barbasol Pre. I'm going to be using the. Uh, <clears throat> PAA cube for the second go. So this is a a November item. And I got a little instruction on how to use this. So basically you rub it in your beard after your face has been cleaned. You can use it as a pre a pre-shave wash. But I've already done that with the Barbasol. So you rub it in against the grain, let it sit, build your lather, and then go on top. I really just dig the way this gives me a, a thicker 5 o'clock shadow. Makes me feel more manly. Alright, so that's doing its thing. We'll let that sit for a minute. Menthol. And it's going to be a good way for me to see if that was the... Um, Thing that caused me to have a reaction and not the vanillae soap. For the razor, <clears throat> Bluebeard's Revenge. This is my neglected item. I really like this razor. I don't use it that often because I have so many shavettes and DE razors. It takes some time to rotate through them. It's got a brand new uh, Gillette 7 o'clock green, the Super Stainless. That's new. First time I'm shaving with that in a chevette. Trusty old uh, Wet Shave Club board brush. Another couple of new items. One of them I am super excited about. Actually, both of them I'm super excited about. One of them is brand new, never used. The other one, second use. Amazing uh, lather bowl by Vanule. It's got the honeycomb texture. As you can see, I've got a dollop of soap in there. What soap are you using tonight, Carl? Well, it's a good question. I was gifted uh, a soap from another gentleman in the uh, shave book, uh, shave book, Facebook Shave at World group. He was kind enough to send me Phoenix and Bow Spitfire. This stuff smells fantastic. The scent profile is leather, uh, juniper, and tobacco, and uh, I really kind of I get a little bit of the leather. A little bit of the green, I think it's a green tobacco, and the juniper, it's a great scent. I have one other Phoenix and Bow uh, soap that was gifted to me as well uh, from another guy. They're great soaps. Hopefully this one won't cause a reaction. You know, two soaps in three years have, have given me a reaction. So this is, uh, I'm going to start bowl lathering. That way, <clears throat> I'm going to get onto that while I'm talking. That way if I do have a problem... I can piff them out. So, you know, <clears throat> people piff out soaps and stuff all the time. I tend not to want to do that. Um, not because I'm greedy or anything like that, but I don't like anything that may have come in contact with my blood uh, for anybody to use. Long time ago, when I first started in EMS, I had an occupational exposure. I got stuck with a dirty needle, and the patient had hepatitis C. So, while I do not have hepatitis C, 
I am listed, I have a, I'm a carrier, I do uh, have the antigens, so I anything that has touches my blood stays with me. So I don't do pass around for razors, I won't give out used soaps because sometimes when you nick yourself and you reapply lather you get blood in your brush, um, I just don't want to chance it. So I'm going to, since I've started having reactions, I'm going to start scooping soap out. That way I can piff it away if I uh, have issues with it. So we're getting this lathered up. And uh, this bowl is a great lather bowl. And the Phoenix and Bow not only smells fantastic, but it's lathering into a, look at that, just a super creamy, beautiful lather. That may actually be a pretty big dollop there in the bottom of the bowl, but that's okay. Because <clears throat> assuming I don't get a rash from this, I'm going to use it again. All right, so those of you who may be wondering, with the PAA cube, you rub it into your face, then you apply your lather as normal. So, I hope everybody is doing well out there, having good shaves. It's, uh, what is today? Thursday? Thursday. I'm back to work tomorrow. But it's Thursday, the rest of the folks, whoa, who, uh, have normal lives and normal schedules. Getting close to the weekend, right? So I hope you got big plans. You're going to go get to <coughs> do something cool. Not be stuck at work. Um, let's see. It's been a pretty uneventful three days off. It's been nice. I rested up. Got all my laundry and my food and my cleaning done. Went out yesterday <coughs> looking at houses. So I'm still in the market. Look at this soap. It's just ridiculously rich and creamy. I think part of that <coughs> may be from the, uh, <coughs> the pre-shave, the cube. Apparently, uh, the mad genius that is Douglas Smythe puts a little little something something in his pre-shaves that he calls lather booster. And, uh, so anyway, all right. So yeah, looking at houses yesterday. Oh man, houses are getting expensive down here in Texas. All you uh, Californians, stay home. Stop coming. You're driving up the housing prices, making it tough for poor poor. Uh, Texans like me to find a place to live. I did find a place. It's probably more house than I need. Beautiful two bedroom house, almost 20,000 or two story house. Almost 20,000 square feet, <coughs> which I know is more house than I need. <coughs> but The house itself is a heck of a bargain. <clears throat> um, it's a three, two and a half. It's got a good sized yard. It's got two living room areas, one upstairs, one downstairs. Formal dining. You know, because I'm fancy and I have all the dinner parties. Nice kitchen, um, super nice place, <clears throat> and uh, like I said, it's a heck of a deal. Like per square foot, it's cheaper than any house I've looked at, but it's just so big. All right. 
Alright, hey everybody, welcome back. Sorry about that technical difficulty. For whatever reason, <coughs> the camera I was using decided to stop recording, so it was out of time. So, switched phones, a little bit different uh, perspective. Well, let's get going. Like I was saying, um, the size of the house puts it just a little out right outside of my price range, which is really disappointing because I like the house. It's the nicest house I've looked at so far. So I've got my finance guy crunching some numbers. I'm going through my budget to see. What I can do to get into the price range. Um, I may have to go on another buying freeze. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, yeah, whatever. I'll tell you what, though, it is pretty disheartening, you know, like... It's so complicated, apparently, to buy a house. I don't know why I just can't find a house that I like, make an offer, give, a, get, give them a down payment, get a loan for the rest, and go from there. I don't know why there's got to be like $8 million worth of this fee and that fee, and your mama's, everybody's getting paid, you know? Your mama's fees and closing costs and this, that, and the other, man. It's just like, I just want to... Find a house, make a deal, and have a new place to live. Why well, it has to be so complicated. So yeah, I was looking at it crunching numbers today. I was just ready to give up and just <clears throat> keep living in an apartment for the rest of my life. Who needs a house, right? But uh, we'll get it figured out. What I've got figured out is that this shave is really nice. Everything is working beautifully I'm super excited because I got I got the menthol tingle from the cube but no other tingle so unless something drastic changes by the end of the shave I'm going to say I'm safe to continue with this soap. Which is nice because it's, uh, it's a good soap. It smells so good. Everything is beautiful. You will not believe how excited I am to not shave my chin anymore. <laughs> it causes me stress every shave. the natural protection and coverage of my double chin take back so you won't be able to see exactly how fat my face is I won't look like a fat bald baby anymore it is gonna be glorious What 
else has been going on? I don't know why I just leaned on the wall to take that stroke. I should have been doing pulling my skin, knucklehead. Let's see, so what else has been going on? Started getting in the uh, first fruits of my uh, spending freeze coming to an end, my thaw. Got the uh, <clears throat> Colonel Conk aftershave balm. The almond flavor. That's a good first pass. You know, I like those blades better in, uh, in a DE. Maybe it's because my scruff was too thick, or my pre-shave wasn't quite as thorough as it could have been. It's a good, serviceable, sharp blade. But, uh... I've shaved with sharper, and they seem sharper in a DE. Alright. Anyway, so yeah, I got my uh, got my Colonel Conk Shave Balm in, <clears throat> which I'm super excited for. And then I got my uh, Focus R21 Evolution, which those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's from the same company that makes the Focus Slim ALs. I don't have it in here with me right now. But it's a, it's a push to load a mechanism. And the one I have has aluminum scales. They're kind of shaped like a Dovo scale, but they're painted like wood. Beautiful razor. I can't wait to use it, but I typically wait to use my Christmas presents till after Christmas. I'm weird like that. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to bust that one out early. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I've got some more stuff coming. I have been <laughs> ordering a few more things here and there, you know. Ordered some Uncle John's because I needed some more... Uh, Christmas scents. I've got a couple items in my basket. And I just need to hit send on at PAA. I'm getting the uh, Chilla and the Chilla Cool. So shave soap and uh, shave soap and after shave splash combo. I'm going to order the uh, Bakelite Alpha Elliptic. Maybe a couple of other things. Try and pick up a couple of more Christmas themed scents for December. So I've been trying to think of a theme for December. Somebody had suggested uh, DE December, which is kind of cool, but I don't know if I could. Uh, I know I could, but I've been using Shavet so much recently, I'm getting kind of decent with them. As I say that, I'll probably cut myself. You know, not to brag, but I have I can see the improvement in my shaves. So I don't know if I'd want to go a whole month without shaving it with a, a shavette.
And since I don't have enough Christmas soaps to use the whole month, I think I'm going to do Derby December for the first half of the month. I've got some uh, some Derby creams. that I haven't used yet and then uh, when it gets close enough to the end of the month when I can do a shave every day with uh, Christmas soap do that so I'm not sure about the the DE December but we'll see second pass super fantastic everything is a uh, wunderbar um, so yeah so that's probably going to be, it's probably going to be Derby, Derby December, and then uh, probably uh, uh, Christmas scents for the back half of the month, maybe de December. Somebody said dedicated December. Uh, somebody suggested that on the shave groups, which is kind of a cool idea, but I have too much stuff I want to use. I sound like a spoiled, like, glutton guy. I have so much stuff I want to use. But, uh, anyway. Alright. Uh, so, small channel mafia shoutouts before I start the uh, third pass. Uh, let's see. Last, last week I shouted out 406 Shaver. Uh, this week I'm going to shout out um, Frank Stromberg. He's a... Uh, He's a fine gentleman from Sweden who does shavettes, shaves mostly, and straight shaves. He's got great technique. He's fun to watch. He actually did a video the other day where he did a old-fashioned hand lather that he used to watch his dad do. Never seen it before. Really cool. Uh, go check him out. And then I'm going to give another shout-out to a guy who doesn't know me but I like to watch his videos he may not be everybody's cup of tea um, I enjoy his videos he's a gentleman by the name of Don I think it's Fraser Fraser um, he does mostly DE shaves some vintage stuff Um, he is a, a fountain of trivia, yeah, trivia, when he gets talking. Now, he doesn't always, he doesn't always do it, but when he does, man, he has some interesting facts. So, go check out his channel, and, uh, if you are a Canadian... Or a fan of Canadian comedies. There was a show that aired several years back called The Trailer Park Boys, which was kind of a pothead comedy thing. Um, if you've ever seen the show or were a fan of it, there was a character by the name of Mr. Leahy. Don Fraser looks like that actor. <laughs> um, so go check him out. It's a, it'll be worth your time. Give him a like if you like his stuff. But just go give him a go give him a a peek. Maybe it'll be something you want to add to your uh, YouTube video watching repertoire. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the small channel mafia shoutouts for the week, or for the shave anyway. Like I said, I know we all have our favorites and guys that we like to watch, but 
broaden your horizon, support the other wet shavers because if people stop wet shaving on YouTube, how are new people going to learn? That's how I learn. Thank you also to the guys who have been giving me props online. I'm talking about how I make shaving look easy. Trust me. It took me a long time to get here. And uh, as you guys see, I still cut myself quite a bit and have my issues, but I think I appreciate the compliments. I'm very humbled that you guys and gals would watch my videos and think of me as a skilled shaver. <laughs> um, so thanks for that, y'all. Because I sometimes don't feel like it. I remember watching guys like, like Ronnie and <coughs> Caleb, McCullough, and uh, there's no, yeah, it's fine. Just rinse that out. Caleb McCullough, Rudds, Ray Pope, who I don't think makes videos anymore. Uh, Tyler Ratledge and some of those other guys with straight razors. Just watching those guys thinking these guys are friggin' amazing. I'll never be able to shave like that. So honestly, it is really humbling that you guys uh, think of me as a decent shaver and someone that you can watch to learn some stuff from. Thank you. All right, that's that. So uh, beautiful shave. Look at that. It's great. Uh, pimple. Uh, everything worked great. This soap is fantastic. I'm really excited that I didn't get a reaction to it, and I mean, I have plenty of it left. Uh, so, post-shave. I know I typically don't do post-shave on the, on the screen, but I've got two things that I want to do. First, uh, the old album. I just can't bring myself to get rid of this gentleman, John. He's been with me since the beginning, you know? Um, it was a good shave. Not a lot of feedback. No nicks that I can see. Beautiful. All right, and another new piece of gear that everybody has been raving about. So I finally got a chance to pick it up because the freeze is over. The Aqua Velva 5 and 1. I'm going to use that. And before I do that, I'm going to use something that I found in a grocery store in West Texas about a year ago. Fell into the memory hole in my my uh, shave den cabinet and I saw it the other day and I, I got to thinking about it and I saw someone use it. I want to say it was Gary, uh, Cincy Saves. Cincy Shaves. Also, if you're not following him, go follow him. He does great videos. But he used the uh, Brute Black. That's a good smell. It's a pump, a spray pump, uh, aftershave. I don't know if it's a good uh, compliment or not to the to the soap, to the Spitfire, but it's what I got. So that's pretty nice. It's not super strong. It's got a clean scent, and uh, I like it. I don't know if that's new or neglected. I don't remember ever using it, but it's been sitting in my cabinet for like two years or something like that. And then the Aqua Velva. A little dabble, do ya? It doesn't smell like aqua level. What's up with that? That's nice. It's slick. It feels uh, hydrating. It's got an interesting scent. Not the aqua level scent I was expecting. But it's good. That's it, y'all. We're uh, probably about 27 minutes longer than the videos I'd normally like to make. Because you guys have stuff to do and I've got to get to bed because i got to go to work in the morning. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. A great weekend. I hope you're having great shaves. Get out there and spend some time with your family, friends and family. That is the most important thing. Good night and God bless y'all.